Do we have uh, Cowboy Cerrone on the phone? Cowboy. What's going on? How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Do you know, I think if this is Jim Norton talking, I think of you when I'm on plane sometimes because I hate turbulence. It really freaks me out. You really think about Cowboy? When I'll tell you planes? why. Yes, I do. What's up, Cowboy? I was on a very What's turbulent on, flight. Man? I was on a very turbulent flight. And I'm thinking, like, how much you would enjoy this, and it's terrifying. Like, do you get scared when you're on a plane and it's really, like, really bad turbulence? That's a good question. No, because the plane won't crash. Right, and how do you know that? I think you're right, but how do you know? Because I have my pilot's license, and uh, I've been... It, 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 it physically won't just fall out of the sky and, and crash. Even if you have catastrophic engine failure, you're still going to coast for a long, long, long time. And it's weird, turbulence, too, because you feel like there's no air under the wing, but there is air under the wing. It's just rough. It's like when you sit in the car, you get bumped around more than you do on a plane. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just like the heat pockets from, the, from all the thermals coming up, you know? When it starts heating up, it just makes it, makes it drop, and just, it's just weather. So it doesn't scare you at all? Because I thought of you, I'm like, no. he would not be scared of this. Not even a little bit scared. And you're saying it's not just going to plummet, right? It's going to... Not even... Matt, if, if you were in a helicopter and yeah. the engine exploded, the helicopter wouldn't just fall out of the sky. Just the, the pure gravity of you falling would keep that propeller moving, and you could take that. It wouldn't be a graceful landing, but you could you could get it to the ground. You know what I mean? You wouldn't you wouldn't just fall. Oh, those helicopters! I, uh, now now you might be. Well, I, I saw I, I saw some footage to, of those things going in. up and going right down and. Those things scared the fuck out of me. I lost yeah, a friend I just in that. Try to put it in something other than an airplane, but yeah, an airplane. If the, you would, yeah. you would glide so far, so well, so does, far. That makes me feel better. I gotta tell it to my father-in-law. He's afraid of flying. He is right. He's zero. He has to drink extra wine. He's trying to get wine on the plane. It's no good. But anyway, <laughs> fuck. Let's talk about Mike Perry, man. Now, listen, cowboy. You seem more comfortable, or maybe not. But are you are you cool with fighting guys you're cool with, or do you like it better when there's some sure. beef? Uh, I don't matter to me anymore, man. I'm, I've made such a a run in this career that friends, foe, it's all the same to me. I just go out there and love doing what I do. So it makes no difference to me. And you don't take any offense. You know, it's hard to take offense to anything. Mike Mike Perry is entertaining, dressing up like a, an Indian. Did you see that? I, I think it's attacking you, but not attacking you. He's having fun with it. What are you thinking of everything that's going on with his? People said it to me. Hey, man, that's what you want to do. Go ahead, whatever you want, man. But no, I don't. I don't take offense to it at all. I think it's. I think it's good. Yeah, it's. You know what's funny? It's not even like it's not mean spirited. It's just no. kind of him being him. And what I really I, there's a lot of things I like about this fight, but it is two guys that they love to do what they do. Like you love you. Right. You do a lot of crazy shit, cowboy. And it's so funny. I was just talking about this last night with actually Marab and Raging Ally Quinta. And I and I brought you up because we were talking about fighting and, and the thrill of it. Sure. And, and I go, I go, yeah, I go take that crazy fuck cowboy. He's jumping out of planes and he's he's looking to get one of those squirrel suits or whatever the fuck you call it. I, I go, he's, yeah, he has his yeah. adrenaline junkie, but the most the, the biggest thing he ever the most the, the biggest thrill he ever gets from fighting. And he does all that other right. crazy shit. So you guys love this shit, cowboy. Love it. Love, there's nowhere I'd rather be on a Saturday night. Yeah, and Mike Perry, uh, you're really looking forward to uh, you really looking forward to this one. He, he's a, he's a very very uh, a an very, animal. <laughs> he's an animal. That's the best way to put it. And yeah, he, and he's another guy that loves it too. That's yeah. what's another thing that makes it so exciting. There's no yeah, place. Yeah, he stylistically, he's just there's not going to be much wrestling or jujitsu in this fight. I mean, I can just easily say that he wants to come knock my head off, put on a show. We're entertainers, man. First, we're entertainers before anything, you know? And, and I think we're both on the understanding. We're going to go out there and put on a show. This is what I love to do. Now, we're going to have him on later, too. Now, I heard what you just said, and I and I believe that to a, to a degree. Because, Cowboy, you're very good on the floor. You are very good on the floor. And you could switch, switch levels and take guys down when they're least expecting it. And you use it when you want on sometimes, and sometimes you don't. Yeah, uh, it, I mean, if there's a time to use it, it I mean, not that you uh, listen. You're a, you're a, you're a dangerous motherfucker everywhere, and I'm just not saying sure. that it's the truth. Sure, no, motherfucker, saying, look at him. Yeah, but I, you know what I'm saying. Why would I deny the pleasures of the Pepsi Center of seeing two guys fucking slugging it out, doing what I ah. absolutely love doing? That would be robbery. That'd be robbery, ah. Sarah. That's <laughs> robbing those people of their of their 
of their ticket money. That's hey, how I look at it. I would no I would no longer be the sheriff. I'd now be the robber, and I need to I need to give those people what they hard earned money paid for. I believe them. Mike said that uh, you guys sparred at the uh, at the ranch a couple of times, and that he pretty much had to hold back from opening you up because you were so easy for him to punch in the face. But he did say you could out wrestle once he started shooting for takedowns. Was that uh, now he's saying you were easy to punch in the face? I'm sure you have a comment on that. Oh, hey, whatever he wants, sure. If, if then Saturday he should have no problem meeting me in the middle and punching me in the face, Jenny. <laughs> That's great. Is there any, <laughs> now? What is your relationship like with Jackson Wink at this point? Have things been worked out there? <laughs> No, there's no relationship. Uh, and I don't even like to put Jackson's name in into the conversation because it's Winkle John. But, uh, um, okay, Winkle John, yeah. Yeah, gra- 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 great, great friend of mine, always will be, lifelong companion. Um, so him, he has nothing to do with any of this. And, uh, but no, Wink drew his line in the sand, and, um, that's that. Were you hurt? It, it has nothing, it has nothing to do with Perry. Sure, sure. By no means. Yeah, yeah, like I don't have any ill feelings or hard feelings toward Perry because he's just a guy that was, looking for a loft, looking for a new home. You know what I mean? Sure. And he found, so it has nothing with, I'm not like, fuck you, Barry, you blah, blah. No, nothing, no ill feeling towards him whatsoever. So it has nothing to do with him towards the fight at all. Now, let me ask you, uh, did it, were you expecting that when it happened or did it hurt on some level or how did it affect you just as a person? Just because of uh, the only reasoning is because of money. That is, that's what hurt me. Sure. Like, damn, you jump ship for a dollar. Like that to me is what hurts, you know. Um, and what I mean by that is because by by Jackson allowing me to come out of their camp, Winkle John wouldn't have got paid because I only I don't train with Wink, so I only pay Greg Jackson. I have for years. I've never paid Wink anything, so. Wink would not. So that's he. When I went to him and I sat down in his office face to face with him, like a fucking man, and we had this talk, he, it was like, okay, we'll do it. And the next day he calls me on the phone, like a fucking scared girl, and he's like, oh, you know, I thought about it, and um, I won't get any money if, if we don't take Perry, so I'm going to go ahead and just go with Perry. And I was like, wow, you just drew a line in the sand over fucking money? Cool. See you around, motherfucker. So that was that was the last conversation we've ever had. Again, no ill feelings towards Perry at all, but sure. it just it sucks that years of building of who I am and out of Greg Jackson's stable was was destroyed over one decision. You know what I mean? Over and, and money at that. Agree. So to me, that's that's a shitty deal. And again, not knowing the dynamics of a gym, there was no way that Greg could step in, or did you not want him to? Uh, well, so Greg and I, we talk all the time. He comes up to the ranch and we train and we work. Um, I'm not using Greg in this fight solely because I don't think it's fair for one on Perry's side or mine. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I want this to be a fun, fair fight. So it's not fair that Perry gets to train every day with Greg and Wink and then Greg gets to come over and corner me. That's, to me, that's a snakier fucking move than any of them. So... If I was like a real piece of shit, I'd be like, yeah, Greg, let's go. You watch every day Perry train. You come tell me what he's doing, and then we'll beat him. That's fucked up, right? You get where I'm coming from? So sure. just that me being a fucking man, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You can have that. I'll, I'll, Greg, you're, we just talked yesterday, me and Greg, and he's coming up to watch the fight. You know what I mean? But we, um, I'll continue with working Greg after this fight, but it has nothing. I'm, I, I don't even want anything to do with that, so... What did you think of Lando uh, Venata's performance? I know that he spent some time at BMF Ranch, and uh, he looked great yeah. against uh, against oh, uh, Frivola, Maxima Frivola. Yeah, poor, poor guy got a draw. Fuck, yeah. that's, I mean, uh, the good news is that's kind of like losing and keeping your job because his job was lying. So yeah. uh, on the worst side of it, that's good, but sucks. You, you know, I was hoping he'd get that win, you know, but... Damn, that guy came came to fight. That's what's so crazy about this sport, guys. This fucking you never know. Right. Guys that you look at on paper yeah. like, oh yeah, Landon should win this fight. Yeah. And then these guys show up and it's like, holy, who who the hell was that kid? Right. You know what I mean? It's crazy to me. Yeah, Matt Favola, he's training with us. He had only like uh that that one loss too in his in his prior fight to Marco Polo. Marco! I'm sorry. But any I just like yeah. that, that game in the pool. But anyway, sure, sure, he sure. uh he got he got knocked, and that guy later got popped, dude. He's out. He's yeah. suspended now. That motherfucker. I say that because he got popped right. after my right. guy got stopped. So anyway, so that was a fantastic fight, though. If Jacare and Wyman yeah. wasn't such a good fight, that definitely would have got fight of the night. 
Yeah. I like watching um, that Lando fight too, man. It's fun. That's the only fight I watched um, of the night. I watched it on Fight Pass while we were driving. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I didn't, I didn't catch any other one. So can't ask me about anything else. Do you watch a lot when you're not? Or Never. Just, when you don't nothing. nothing. If you're not directly like, impacted by me, then I know I don't. Like Landon, good friend, train with him. I'm, of course, I'm going to see his fight. You know? Um, so, yeah, but other than that, no, I don't. I don't tune in and watch. I I got so much so much living and life going on, Sarah. That yeah, shit. Speaking of life going on, congrats again on becoming a, a father. Hey, thank you. That's thank a, you. That's be a, here. That's a that's a, 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 a bought him a hundred pair hundred dollar pair of cowboy boots. He's gonna fit in one time. For <laughs> <laughs> now, what I love, and now, could you do you mind telling people the, the, his name or at least his middle name? Danger. Danger is name. Now, t- <laughs> I love that. Now, when people ask, so his first name, his first name is Jackson. My initials are D A C. Donald Anthony Cerrone. So he's D A C, and then he's my son. So S O N. So Dax son is his first name. Danger Cerrone. Damn, I like that you put thought into an original name. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> That's Thank real you. thought, and it sounds cool. Jackson sounds like a cool name. Anything they ask this kid, he'll be like, "Yo, my middle name is Danger." <laughs> That, that's what you I'm thought the, about. That is amazing. Be danger. <laughs> What's his, that? His wrestling thing in, in school when he's five years old is going to say danger down the leg. Boom. Huge. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait. That is that is so amazing. His middle name is going to be danger, Jimmy. That's a great middle name. But it puts a lot of pressure on him, though, because now as a job, what, you know what I mean? He, he, what, he can't be a scientist. You know what I mean? Nobody no, wants to yeah, hire a scientist okay. named danger. Well, you never know. He could he could could have some pretty cool breakthroughs. That's true. Right, I cost, exactly. I cost him a few few labs, but he'll come through. You never know. <laughs> exactly. But if there's a problem at school, all right, let's just say there's a broken window. Who the fuck are they going through first? Danger Cerrone. That's I mean, who we're talking to first. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. I just showed up to my my brother. My little brother's eleven, and he goes to my middle school that I went to. And we showed up at his wrestling practice to show to surprise him yesterday. And he was like, man. The teacher that you had, I had your same teacher. First day I walked into school, I said, are you fucking Cowboys, brother? And he said, yeah. He goes, have a seat right here in the front of the class. I'll keep an eye on you. That's I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I, already, I already got it. That's great. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you, man. I'm really – and you and you yeah. like it? And, and, and how has it been? This is your first time. Yes, first time. It's good, man. Um, my wife, takes, she's so good. Like, she cries. She takes care of him. Like, I do nothing. I just hold him and kiss him and – and then I go about my day, but he, he's sick, he's cold, he's tired, she dealt, she's so good at it. People ask me, how does your baby sleep? I said, through the whole night. And she says, no, dickhead, that's you <laughs> that sleeps. You know, yeah, so she's so good. Uh, that's excellent. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that is nice, man. It's good that you, you uh, now have you done, you've done the diaper thing and all that, you've had to do it, oh, right? Of course, yeah. Yep, yep. Get it- diapers, get the bottles for her, but uh, haven't been peed on yet. I've been thrown up on because I was throwing him up in the air. Uh, <laughs> and then he, he got a little sick and threw up all over my face. So that was good. But uh, other than that, nothing too crazy. I would have told you. I would have given you uh, a little advice with the whole uh, diaper thing. And I used to just fuck up with it and put the shit on backwards. She's like, oh, no, I'll do yeah. it. I used to put the cream on wrong. I, what, I, enough, not enough. So next thing you know, I, didn't, I was off diaper duty for good. You know, well, the yeah. thing is, uh, it's hard to put a diaper on. Most people that if you don't, because sometimes they pee and it like comes out of the side of the diaper. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I know. Yo, my boy got a hammer on him. I'll tell you what. <laughs> God, look at him, my God, damn. So, yeah, cowboy. Cowboy's funny. Yeah. I feel like giving him dad. Like, you go, all right, little man. That's what I'm talking about. That's great. Like, yeah, that's Jesus. awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it's a beautiful thing. All right, man. Uh, yeah, listen, man. Good luck. Uh, you guys are the co main. This could easily be a main event fight. Um, uh, uh, Saturday, November 10th, uh, which is, of course, the Korean zombie against Yaya Rodriguez is the main event. It's supposed to be Frankie Edgar, but he uh, had to drop out. Good luck, man. I, I love watching you fight. Even fights you've lost, I've loved. But I, I just love watching you fight. You're never in a dull fight. Thank you. And, that's, uh, that's the legacy I want. I want to know. Cowboys fighting. Someone's pulling over, and they're figuring out how to fucking watch it. Abs, oh. dude. And, and let me tell you something. Right no there. one takes a fight faster than you, and you literally would fight in a fucking in a brown paper bag somewhere in an alley. You will always step it. up to fight. What so I do. Get everybody's respect, cowboy. Yep, everybody yeah, loves you, man. You Good talking to you, buddy. Take care, buddy.
Thank you. All right, man. Hey, listen, I can't say it. I'm looking forward to this freaking Me too, fight. man. These that both guys. be a main event. You can't, th- you, if you named another match, there's no other matchup I get as ex- I'm excited for this fight. And you got me excited for that Paul Felder Vic fight. Because I just found out about that just now. I knew this was happening. You know what I mean? That's breaking news for me, Jimmy. Yeah. You know? That's another great fight. These guys are doing a good job. And I want to see what's up with Rodriguez. Because he gets past Zombie. He's got some beat waiting for him. Now, he's not getting past that. Right. That's some shits that you... In this game, you're not getting past anybody. I'm not saying he was trying to get past, but guy's healthy now. 